Hey everybody, this is Wade from True Reviewer, and this is the PlayBoost launch uh, demo. PlayBoost is really cool. It activates your thumbnails and makes them animated. There's nothing on the market like this, and I'm going to go ahead and play the demo video for you guys right now. Here we go. Hard on, so your marketing messages are actually seen. This is all to counter the huge autoplay issue everyone is facing right now with browsers shutting down autoplay and people are really struggling to get views. So what you would have seen at the moment are videos like this where it's automatically paused and it'll say click to play in the top right hand corner, videos playing, click to unmute, uh, or even worse, just a normal still video, another still video. Uh, this is just another basic YouTube video with nothing over it. So these kinds of images are really hard to capture attention to actually get people to click to play. So what happens is everyone's views are down globally and this is what PlayBoost attempts to solve and does so quite successfully. And to take a video from the default embedded option that your video hosting gives you such as this default YouTube one or a default Vimeo one to something with a call to action you need to actually hire a developer and pay someone to be able to place a script for you and using workarounds to go ahead and use and force autoplay actually can get you penalized by Google. So it's better to use something like a, a click to play call to action and we take that a bit further with PlayBoost with our animated call to actions and other elements you can add. So what, what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to customize a fully animated thumbnail just like we've seen with all the apps that have helped with Facebook ad images and banners and that kind of stuff where the still banners just don't really have the same impact as things like cinemagraphs which blew up in a big way. So these are to capture attention, get people to click to play and to increase views on your videos. So with that being said, let's jump into the software. So as you can see, it's a very straightforward user interface, very user friendly, easy to follow. You just select your video platform from the drop down. You enter a video URL and you click on next step. You can edit your video name over here and you'll see it loads up a beautiful user interface right here where you can go ahead and edit everything about your video. So the first thing you can do is you can change your video thumbnail if you'd like to. It pulls the default one that you have on your video. And then we have all of our settings on the right hand side here. So let's click on overlay. And by default, it's going to add this green overlay over here. But as you can see, we have plenty of patterns you can go ahead and you can put over your video. As you can see, it looks really, really nice. But if we go for like a just a, a normal transparent color like this, we can edit the color, so let's make it either white or we can make it a bit darker. Let's go with that. Okay, so that's our overlay for our video. And again, all of these settings are optional. You don't have to use every single one, but the aim for each one is to help your video stand out from your page so it doesn't just look like a still image. We want your videos to be seen by your visitors. So you can use any of these elements for your animated thumbnail. So what's very cool is it basically builds an image on this canvas right here over your video and with every single element you upload, you have the ability to apply an animation to it. So it really does capture your visitors attention and they will see your call to action which uh, in their example I showed a bit earlier was click to play but you can customize it to say anything you'd like. So let's go ahead and let's look through here. So we can upload images. We can search for GIFs. We integrate with an API, so you can search for a keyword and it pulls up all different GIFs as related to your search. And then you have the image library where if you've uploaded images in the past, such as my logo, you can go ahead and you can use those in the future at any, at any time. And you can rotate them or apply an animation. So you'll see that the animation you apply only, only loops once. And that's just not to distract you while you continue editing your video. When the video is actually live, your element that you apply the animation to will actually loop indefinitely. So it'll continue looping the entire time the visitors on your page as to ensure that their, their attention is captured by your video. I don't want that on this one. So all I have to do is click on delete in the top right hand corner here. For every single element, 
we have the toolbar over here. So we can move the alignment, we can layer it, we can move it behind the overlay if we want. So every single element you have the ability to edit the layers, you have the ability to duplicate it, and then you have the ability to delete it if you don't want that element. All right, so if I select here now, it's going to not allow me to select the image because the image is behind the overlay. So I just say send to back, then I can select the image and I can delete it. Very straightforward. Okay, so we're not gonna use an image for this one or maybe we should just have a look here. Okay, so let's add a GIF. Let's say we want that in the top right hand corner. I can resize this if I want to. And I can also apply an animation to the GIF, which is pretty cool. And then I can add text. Now this is one of my favorite elements in the software because you can add a very powerful call to action as I did on this one over here, click to play. But you can add anything you like. You can see we have all these different templates for text in the right corner and it loads a whole new toolbar at the top for this element. So if I go ahead and I scroll up, I have this text box here in the top right hand corner where I can edit this text. So let's say I can say, uh, click here to unmute or click here to play, anything you'd like. And then we have all these premium fonts that you can choose from, all right? I prefer to use the thick fonts because they just do stand out more and they look a little bit more clean. Then I can go ahead and edit the font size if I want it to be bigger. So it's a lot easier for the visitor to see and then I can transform the text to uppercase, lowercase, or I can just capitalize the first letter. The powerful thing here is applying an animation to your call to action. So if I want this to pulse, I can go ahead and I can select that. If I want it to swing, I can do that. If I want it to wobble, I can do that. If I want it just to be jello, I can do that. Very, very powerful animations you can apply. So let's go with that and remember it's only going to loop once so it doesn't distract you while you're editing your video but once it's live it'll loop indefinitely all right so we've added our text element now it's going to close this and just once again if i wanted to delete this i just click on the element and i click on delete so let's go and look at emojis now so as you'll know emojis are incredibly engaging whether it be in a chat conversation or in a video or anything like that because they notice them from a familiar medium through which they communicate with people. So they most probably use them with text apps whether it be WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger or anything like that. When they see an emoji it captures their attention. So all I have to do now is select any of these emojis and we have all these different categories too. All I have to do is select which one I want to use. So let's use this one over here and I can resize this to my video. And I can also apply an animation to this. If I just wanted to pulse, for example, I can go ahead and select that. And then I can add a play button. And we have these amazing templates right here that look really good over a video. It's by default going to add it as green, but you can of course edit the color to any color you want. So let's go ahead and let's make this a shade of blue. That's a pretty good one there. And then I'm actually gonna apply the same, I'm gonna apply the same color to this over here. Okay, and then what we can do is we can actually center the play button when we replace it or move it around and we want it to be 100% centered, we just click on the center button over here and it'll go ahead and it'll center it over our video. So let's go ahead and just resize that. As you can see, this all looks really, really good. Let's make that a bit smaller so it looks a bit cleaner. And we can move that around too. Let's move our emoji over there. All right, so now what will happen is when we... All right, everybody, so you get a pretty good idea how it works right there. Uh, all I can say is, Click on the link below, come to the bonus page. If you click anywhere on this bonus page at all, it'll take you to the sales page where you can sign up to win a free copy of uh, Playboost. And then when the launch begins, you can actually you know, purchase it there. And if you do, you'll have all these bonuses waiting inside the JVZoo uh, portal. This is Wade Allen over and out.